The State Guards Battalion is a quintessential unit of the Republican National Guard Service of the Gambia Armed Forces. With its sister unit, the Guards Battalion, the archetypical unit embodies the true meaning of guards of the highest order of the Gambian military. Hence, the unit is charged with the protection of the first family of the Republic of the Gambia, as well as the provision of security to the seat of power. In other words, protecting the people's sovereign and in the context of the Gambia, protecting the head of state primarily, as well as key installations and the persons that may be associated with the presidency as assigned. But what is behind the boldness to dare the challenge providing security to the seat of power? The discharge duty of this elite unit in a smart soldier-like manner comes from routine training to hone skills resident in elite soldiers both at individual and team levels. It is for this reason that the Gambia Armed Forces Directorate of Press and Public Relations on Tuesday, 31st May 2022 joined the Gambia Armed Forces Training School to cover a live firing exercise of heavy weapons that spanned from 31st May to 2nd June 2022 at the Palodi Heavy Weapons Range in the North Bank region. The exercise was organized for personnel of the State Guards Battalion undergoing heavy weapons cadre at the Gambia Armed Forces Training School. After seven hours journey with delays of vehicles stocked in the sandy plains of Palodi, the team arrived at the assembly point where a harbor was established. It was night time, but as soldiers, trained to cope with all situations and weather conditions. The men in a smart soldier-like manner quickly jumped to work and erected tents for their shelter, established observation posts and mounted sentries for their own security and a period of admin was observed. The villagers around the Palodi range would wake up to their new neighbors as the rising sun lead the harbor area. The exercise was in two folds. One was the firing of the Dragunov sniper rifle by selected good firers undergoing sniper calls and the heavy weapons unit also undergoing a heavy weapons cadre at the Gambia Armed Forces Training School. The one was for the snipers. In the early hours of Wednesday, 1st of June 2022, sniper course participants descend on the range to set up the targets and various firing points while admin bids continued at harbor. At exactly 0830 hours, the firers were lined for briefing. across any fires at or fire means season of all fire. The 
rifle must point to the direction of fire at all times. Um, the layout of the range, the admin area is right behind you. The firing point depends on the, the practice that's being conducted uh, would be at 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, and then 800 meters. The first aid point is right behind you where you have the ambulance. At the 100 meters firing point, the firing point officer, Sergeant Bob, gave firers the firing orders. The participants were for the first time using a special new sniper rifle and the 100 meters was mainly for zeroing and grouping. However, the firers had to fire the new sniper rifle by using both the mechanical and optic firing methods. A distance of 400 meters was adapted and equally the 800 meters at 400 and 800 meters the snipers adapted different firing positions and also ran a distance of 400 meters to the main firing point in order to gain contact with the enemy just as in real combat situations this was done to test the ability of the snipers in adapting to real-life situations. By the end of the day's program, the Commandant Gav Training School had this to say. It's always geared towards making sure that you know we arm them with the necessary skills and drills that they will need in the execution of that task. At the Gambia Armed Forces, we don't, we don't relent. We are always ready, in, of course, in conjunction with uh, the higher headquarters, defense headquarters, and in line with the chief of defense staff training directives to execute any training mission that is within our our, our capabilities. You know, to to make sure that members of the Gambia Armed Forces are better off and are able to perform their roles and responsibilities. Target in front of you. Aiming at the bottom center of the white badge. On your own time, carry on.
دنبال گوش شد It was a long day and the program for the day was exhausted. The men rest for the night, for even in the heat of battle, commanders at all levels must provide for a rest plan. The following making night two was the firing of the 81 mm and the 120 mm caliber mortars respectively. The 81 mm caliber was fired for effect on the direct target and the 120 mm caliber was used as an indirect fire. All the firings were fixed directly to a position referred to as the beating zone and at various firing points a standard procedure range practice was observed by the motor crews. Second Lieutenant Mohammed Mane delivered his range orders or range safety brief. Safety supervisors to take statement from all personnel as to what happened and the area will finally be recorded for preservation of the evidence. While participants diligently followed procedures as professionals, instructors never relent as they followed them closely and equally give them an account of whatever is about to take place. Firing for effect was done with precision during both the direct and indirect fires. During the exercise, the commanding officer, State Guards Battalion had some words to share with us. So, we are using that framework to so that all the companies are given the training they require. We started initially with the, with the companies. Last year, we did some, some, some infantry weapon training with them and then conducted a live training, live firing exercise at Dimpimpa. Then we also conducted some training for the headquarters company where you have the, the, the close protection. Both last year and this year, we did some training on on these uh, small arms weapons, including pistols and other bodyguard weapons, and also VIP protection training. That is why we are here in, in Polodi as part of the training for the support company. Today, you were able to witness some firing of mortars. And those motors were fired by the support company personnel to practice what they have learned at this school. So that is what we are doing. We are training all the companies in that structure of the new state guard. What do we do? What do we do? We support. And what? We we rise. Rise. And again, we we support.
re-energize these men takes different forms, none more express than the reliance on military cadences. Chants of we made a solemn promise to the Gambia revibrates through the scorching heat that characterizes the Palodi Hills during the day. At night time, when the herds are gathered and guided home, these invaluable men will conduct a controlled demolition headed by the unit's explosive ordnance disposal team. Just as the commanding officer of the State Guards Battalion would put it, training continues for all members of this elite guards unit. Close protection for VIPs is an integral part of the normal routine of personnel of this guards battalion, especially for those serving directly as close protection personnel and bodyguards if you like. Operating as a team, the key is not only dependent on honing the individual skills to the highest levels of mastery, but in the ability to work as a solid team with sharpened reflexes, muscles, memory and ease of command and control. Their training also involves using the State Intelligence Service Training Facility for intelligence and counterintelligence training. This collaboration gives more credence to the unit's credo. This is a special advantage in the discharge of their duty within the corridors of power. Realities such as anti-ambush drills, direct assault against attackers in order to save a VIP, as well as blocking assaults on a given VIP are key focus models that must be mastered by all in the close protection unit of the State Guards Battalion. During such trainings, 
personnel are disoriented to a great degree and tested in their ability to stay focused and engaging attackers in protecting a given VIP. These high-speed and life-threatening encounters are drills on for both on-foot incidents as well as while using vehicles. In order to ensure all these and other trainings not highlighted in this video go on to sustain by the men and women of the State Guards unit, routine sport comes in handy. Though reasonable consideration is given to age and weight, personnel of these elite guard units only utilize fully those on top of their game in terms of fitness. For this special unit, training is always alive and always living its cycle. We ensure that we conduct a lot of endurance runs because basically that is what is needed. For to, to inform you that we are not only confined to this in the week exercise that we do, we have a other, city, uh, other exercise that we conduct on the sidelines. Uh, we have a sport complex where the boys go and conduct gym training and other things. Uh, but we also offer special uh, training exercise for people who we feel need remedial PT. Nimbabwe na jambe ya Allah, Nimbabwe na jambe sulu.